good morning. Happy weekend. So I'm on my way to work. So I wanted to preface it. These several clips coming up on Thursday, I had two party type things after work to go to. One was for birthdays for work. Um, so I went out with all my work girls. And then the second one was a going away party for a girl that works at the flower shop that I help out at. Um, she's moving. So I captured little clips of those shenanigans that ensued on Thursday. So I just wanted to preface it that so you knew what on earth you were looking at because this video is a little choppy. <laughs> Palmer. Are you going to get a peachy Palmer? Orange blossom, honey syrup, lemon juice, and iced tea. Oh, well, we Another prefer not. Yeah, let's yeah. not. Let's not. So, so I, I could eat. Put them in your mouth they like pop. Yeah. 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 Hey, mister. Hey. Really? McAfee, stop. McAfee. Hey, you agree? Would you leave her alone? McAfee. Hey. Don't you agree? Hey, you. Do you need to be a big boy and sleep by yourself? McAfee. Bink's trying to give you kisses and you're trying to ignore her. Mackers. Do you agree you need to be a big boy and sleep by yourself? Hello. I'm looking. I'm talking to you. Are you trying to ignore me on purpose? I am getting my first microneedling appointment today. Never had this done. I mean, I've had a lot of stuff done, obviously working in Durham and, you know, needing test people to sign people off and whatever, but microneedling is one I've never done. So, um, hopefully it turns out well, but I'm going to try to take you along with me so you can experience it as well in case you're interested in getting it done. I don't
just got done a little bit ago with my first microneedling and as you can tell it's not so bad it's just a little pink kind of feels a little warm but my face is still really numb in areas so if you don't know what microneedling is basically what it does is it's a little vibrating instrument that basically puts little has little small needle-like projections that kind of basically create injury um, on the skin and what that does is allows collagen production so it helps with uh, photo aid or it helps with aging in general my guess would be help with superficial acne scarring too so how you start and now as you can see I'll insert pictures you do numb your face um, we here at our practice use we use a numbing cream um, so I applied that on thick like I always tell patients use it like a frosting a thick layer an hour before your procedure and then I go ahead and reapply and I think most of the general practice idea is to reapply a half hour before your procedure. Um, again, apply another layer on to make sure you're really good and numb. There was an area like right in here that for whatever reason did not take with the numbing. So I felt that a little bit. And it's still, I mean, you couldn't do the, I don't think, unless you had some, you know, God, great, awful and to or tolerance level. If you had some high tolerance level, you probably could do it without numbing. No, otherwise you need to numb. Um, so that's like to me so far the worst part about it is the numbing because my face feels funny. My eyes are what because she went way up in here too above the bone and so I made sure I got my eyes really good obviously around my eyes around my nose and I didn't get it in my eye like I literally went from the bone up and then right in here and that's still I cannot feel anything right there that's still really numb so that feels really weird. So my eyelids eyelids feel my nose is still really I'm sorry my eyelids feel heavy which is feeling weird and it's a really sunny day so it just they feel heavy and weird anyway so that's kind of giving me a little bit of a headache to be honest um but if you were just like I don't do that all you have to do is just tell them they'll do like upper eyelids or whatever and just don't numb in that area if that's something that you'd be sensitive to you'd be fine um you can do whatever area you want to but I just was told you go way up in here even in your hairline I still have numbing goo in my hair which that's okay because I gotta wash my hair anyway and then otherwise it's fine it just feels like a vibration um I did take a couple minute clip of them doing my forehead just so you can see what's involved otherwise yeah it was great you just so a little update <laughs> sorry about Mia but um Once the numbing wore off, if you keep cool, it's you're good. If your face gets warm at this point, it's itchy and stingy. So it's a little itchy and stingy and tight is what it feels like right now. And I'm not numb anymore. So, but otherwise it's, it's really not that bad. But just a little update on that. So a little update. <laughs> Sorry about Mia. But, um, once the numbing wore off, if you keep cool, it's, you're good. If your face gets warm at this point, it's itchy and stingy. So it's a little itchy and stingy and tight is what it feels like right now. And I'm not numb anymore. So, but otherwise it's, it's really not that bad. But just a little update on that. So we are one day past my microneedling and it feels fine. Like it feels maybe slightly tight. Um, so you're still needing to keep it moist and everything. But you could wear makeup today if you wanted to. I'm not going to because I don't have any place to go. But you could. So um, yeah, it feels fine. This is all from... A sleep mask so ignore that um but yeah overall do it again in a second yeah that's this is much easier to me than a chemical peel for example um yeah i think this we'll see what the results but this is easier than that i thought so i'd highly recommend it <laughs>